My name is Dr Samir Puri. I'm a lecturer in War Studies at King's College London. I have two areas of research. The first is in contemporary warfare, and the second is in counter-terrorism and countering extremism. And I teach master's modules relating to both of these subjects. I bring real-world experience to the Department of War Studies. I spent six years working for the Foreign Office uh, until I joined the War Studies Department in 2015. As a result, I've got some practical experience around the war in Ukraine, which I bring directly to my research and my teaching uh, in contemporary warfare. And I've also got some experience working in counter-terrorism for the British government. And I bring those sorts of experiences to teaching uh, the degree on terrorism and counter-terrorism. Examples of impact that I've achieved using my research are as follows. I can plug in the research and the work that King's does back to uh, the departments I've worked in, but I can also provide a conduit, if you like, between the academic research and some of the practical responses to these problems as they're unfolding in the world today. One very recent example is a piece of work I've just finished for the Commonwealth Secretariat, and that was to write a countering violent extremism strategy for the Commonwealth, which is entering this particular space uh, for the very first time. And policy-making bodies such as the Commonwealth never want to reinvent the wheel. They want to understand what's already been done, the hard-won hard -won lessons that uh, previous uh, generations of people have already accumulated in a difficult area such as countering terrorism. So I was able to bring some of the latest research, including research that's being conducted at King's, to be able to inform the strategy writing process. My book, which I published in 2016, is called Fighting and Negotiating with Armed Groups, The Difficulty of Securing Strategic Outcomes. This book asks one very simple question, which is quite relevant for a number of conflicts as they're unfolding around the world today. That question is, how do governments manage the security measures that they are bringing to bear on the problem with the possible political strategies that they're also exploring? For example, if you're engaging in negotiation with an armed group, there's a likelihood of needing to keep on security measures, military tactics, intelligence and policing and so on. I, over the course of 10 case studies, I examine the different ways in which governments around the world have dealt with this particular challenge, regardless of whether they're pushing for a military solution or a negotiated settlement. There's likely to be a mix of both approaches in any particular scenario.